Hello guys, welcome, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a track like the Chain Smokers. As always, the free FLP is in the description so you guys can download. So, if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button to see more content, and drop a big thumbs up, and let's get into the video. Set the BPM to 100. And add some emotional chords like this. And another one playing the bass notes in the lower octave. All together. Add some warm pads. Then add a respace. For the mixing, I added an EQ to cut off the highs and some lows. Then add an electric guitar like this. For the processing, I added an EQ to boost the volume, and another one to create a low pass automation. Onto the breakdown. Add a kick, but remove the lows. Add some claps. At the middle of the breakdown, add a snare fill like this. Add a hi-hat loop. Don't forget to add some vocals. Our intro and breakdown sounds like this. Now let's start the build up. Just create a snare build up like this. For the mixing, I added a lot of reverb. Add some risers. and a crash. Don't forget to introduce the drop leads with a low pass filter, and this is how our buildup sounds like. Let's start the drop, add a punchy kick. Layer it with a top kick. Add some claps. Layer the claps with a snare. Add some offbeat toms. At the second part of the drop, add a hi-hat loop like this.
drop leads consist of three different sounds. Here's the first one. For the processing, I just added an EQ to cut off the lows. Here's the second one. I also added an EQ to cut off some lows. Here's the third one. I did the same on the mixing. For the bus channel, I added some OTT and EQ to create a low pass automation and some reverb. Here's how they sound together. Drop chords consist of four different sounds. Here's the first one. For mixing, I added to reverb and fruity balance to create a volume automation and some EQ to cut off some lows and highs. Here's the second one. I added some reverb and fruity balance to create a volume automation and some EQ to cut off some lows and highs. Here's the third one. I added some EQ to cut off some lows and highs, and then fruity balance to create a volume automation. Here's the fourth one. For the processing, I added an EQ to cut off some lows, and then fruity balance to create a volume automation. For the bus channel, I added some OTT, some EQ to cut off some lows, and another EQ to create in low pass automation. Here's how they sound together. If you wonder where side chain, here's it. I added some filler chords. Add some guitar chords. Add some bass. For the processing, I added some EQ to cut off the highs and some lows. And then fruity balance to create a volume automation to add the sub bass. For the mixing, I just added an EQ to cut off all the highs and boost it to lows. Add the vocal at the second part of the track. Add a crash at the end of the drop to make it more organic. And guys, our track is done. I had to convert my drop chords to an audio file because my CPU was lagging. So, subscribe to the channel if you are not, like this video if you enjoyed, it helps me a lot, and let's see our final result.